Smith, are you a Christian? And I always say, no. Shah, you must be a Muslim then, like Nasiruddin Shah? No, I'm actually a Gujarati. Gujarati? Oh, so you're from the land of Dhoklas, Faflas and Theplas? No, I'm actually from the steel city of India, Jamshedpur. Hang on a second. Your name is Smith, but you're not a Christian. Your surname is Shah, but you're not a Muslim. You say you're a Gujarati, but you're not even from Gujarat. Who are you? Good afternoon, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and my dear guests. It's a long story, but I'll try to keep it short. When I was about to enter this world, my Bua's wedding was supposed to happen. Now she had insisted that the name of every family member should be on the wedding card, including the just born me. There was one little problem though. I had no name then. My parents were busy trying to keep me from crying. They didn't have the time to name me. Three days later, my mother saw the wedding card and her eyes stuck on the name. Smith? She asked my father, Who is this Angre Smith in your family? My father simply shrugged his shoulders and said, I don't know. So they called up my bua and she said, Oh, we were running out of time. We didn't know what to do. So we thought of naming him after you, Smitha. So that's how I am named. Smitha's Smith. As to how I landed up here, back when the Tatas were setting up this factory to convert iron into steel, my forefathers in Gujarat smelled the heat coming out of the hot furnace and realized there is a great business opportunity here. So they packed their bags and left Gujarat even before Mountbatten had left India. That's how I grew up in this town. I was always a shy, introverted kid with very limited friends. Growing up, I made three major mistakes in my life. First, I was good with studies. Second, I was really good with maths. And in India, when you commit these two mistakes, you eventually commit the third one, which is engineering. I did my bachelor's in mechanical engineering from BIT Mesra, where I learned more about American sitcoms than I ever did about machines. By the end of my fourth year, I didn't remember how a refrigerator or an air conditioner worked, but I remembered dialogues from friends, how I met your, met your mother, Game of Thrones. So when it comes to mechanical engineering, I know nothing, which is why I was very surprised when I got a job in a manufacturing company at the end of my fourth year. But there, within one year, I realized engineering was not my cup of tea. So I said, engineering, we are on a break now. From there on, my life resembled a typical Ranbir Kapoor movie. A boy in search of himself, wandering through life not knowing what to do next. I did a couple of things. I read tons of books. I volunteered for organizations, became a content writer, then worked as a communication trainer. But my life changed when I did my post-graduation in liberal studies from Ashoka University. For those of you who have no idea what liberal studies means, think of it like a buffet. You get one scoop of physics, one scoop of economics, one scoop of law, one scoop of philosophy, one scoop of cinema and add any spice you want. That's all the things I studied in one year. And that made me realize I love learning. And for the past two years, that's what I have been doing, trying to make learning as fun and as engaging for students as much as possible. And one of the important skills I require in this is communication, which is something I learned in Toastmasters. 
I remember exactly you know five years ago, I was delivering my first speech in Pink City Toastmasters Club in Jaipur. Back then, I wasn't this confident. In fact, my legs were shaking, my heart was thumping, but the love. the encouragement the support that i got from this platform and from my fellow club members only motivated me to go further as i kept on giving speeches i developed my communication skills evolved as a speaker as a leader as a communicator and as a person so out of all these things what i cherish most about those masters is the wonderful friends i made in my club which is why I was very happy during the pandemic because I could attend the meetings of my home club and sitting at my home in Jamshedpur. But like every long distance relationship, that also had to come to an end. So here I am, looking for a new relationship with a new club, hoping things will remain the same. Back to you, Toastmaster Blake.